Alright, what is going on my dudes? We are back here today with Alliance War Season number 25, episode number 9, 10. Whew, one of those. One of those. Um, but anyway, man, so we got some rank 3 Doctor Doom action. We're finally bringing in Doctor Doom to Alliance War, man. We just took him off of defense. Um... I replaced him with Elsa, I believe. We had so many Dooms, that was the only Elsa. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, unfortunately, it's only in one fight. You know, we only have uh, Rank 3 Doctor Doom for one fight. Um, the rest of it is going to be with Ghost, but I needed an Armor Break Immune Champion, right? And I was like, usually I bring, like, Sasquatch for that. I really like Sasquatch in those scenarios. But we have this Rank 3 Doctor Doom that's pretty much just sitting there now, so I figured I might as well bring him in. So now we have this Professor X, man, and fighting Professor X with Ghost after the change to his, you know, basic attacks has been really, really annoying um, because you can't phase anything he does anymore, so you kind of have to use Ghost like a normal champion, which is... I don't know, she's, she's still good. She's still really good. She still has guaranteed crits, and her special 2 is still monstrous, but it's like, um, it kind of takes you out of the flow of using her, as you can see. Um, we're gonna go for the special 1 here against Professor X. I was hoping that maybe it would kill him. Unfortunately, it did not, and neither did these as well. Gotta bait out the special 1. At this point, watch this. I waited just a millisecond here too long. I went in here, and I got intercepted, and look at this combo. Huge combo. Got intercepted again because of the falter. Now I'm mind-controlled, and I just lost like 80% of my health in the last one second. I only had to hit him one more time, which is a little annoying. I lost a lot of health for that man, but it is what it is, I guess, right? Uh, up next, we have this invisible woman here. Um, and I usually do this fight with like Mole Man, but I used to do it with Ghost. So let's see if I remember how to do this with Ghost. Without Stubborn, it shouldn't be too hard, right? Um, she's not going to start um, unblockable because I don't have the poison or the bleed on me in the beginning. So there's not really going to be a way for her to get to three debuffs except for right there if that happens. But, you know, it was annoying on Stubborn because you couldn't, you know, like hit her because she went indestructible. But now with the Protect meta currently, um, it's, not, it's not too hard here because as you can see, you can just kind of rip right through it um i had a tech boost on for some reason that i can't really understand because there's not really anything here that i needed a tech boost for but hey man it was on maybe i had an overflow or something this was you know over a week ago at this at this point right um but yeah uh very simple fight here with ghost uh arguably even easier with ghost than with mole man but yeah two of the best Alliance for Attackers, in my opinion. Ghost and Mole Man. Um, but yeah, man. So up next, we have this Silver Surfer. I believe it is a rank 3 Silver Surfer. Nice prestige champ there. And so it's going to be Dr. Doom versus Surfer. The two prestige champs, really, right? Um, yeah. So uh, my Dr. Doom is SIG 200, and he's a beast. You know, I love Dr. Doom. He isn't the most suicide-friendly champ in the entire game. I, I'm fine. I... You know, I feel fine using him with suicides when it comes to, like, Alliance War or just, like, general questing stuff. But, like, in general, you know, you can't um, be spamming specials with him like you might always want to. Um, but that's totally fine, man, especially if you use him for, like, one or two fights. Um, I've grown to use, you know, Dr. Doom with suicides. Um, nice 17k heavies, man, with no fury. It's, it's he, he, he hits like a truck, man, as you can see. He really does. Um, and we're just going to go, you know, get to the special three. And as you can see, it's just a very simple fight here with Dr. Doom. Just get him in the corner, and you just, you know, in war, I like to play very, very safe. Um, so with Dr. Doom, this is typically how I play in war. Um, just keep them in the corner and go for the heavy chain. Yeah, man, gonna go for a big special three here. 1% uh, health at this point. We're just gonna, like, give him a little tap. Pew! right uh yeah dr doom's awesome he's a great champion um up next we have this void who we fight seemingly every war at this point man um yeah we're gonna go with ghost again uh rank three void simple stuff right yeah so let's go in here we got a you know a quick <laughs> void fight like always we're so used to this fight man we're so used to it um this is definitely you know it's not the easiest fight in the game it's just we've done it so many times at this point right so we kind of like know exactly what we're doing see we have one hit left on the counter here and got rid of that debuff there we go go for a special two while we have the fury active missed out in the last part but that's fine because it let us get right back to a special two just about right gonna go for an intercept here into a special two that's going to be at 29 seconds. That was probably the fastest void kill that we've had there. And I do actually believe that's going to be it for this war. This was a very quick war for me. Um, I didn't have too much stuff going on. Um, oops. But there we go. Let's go here. <laughs> uh, quick little view into that. I might have to edit that out. I might not. Who knows? Um, but yeah, man. So that was war number nine versus PBT. 
a rematch with PBT, man. Uh, so I wish I could have used Rank 3 Doctor Doom more, uh, but unfortunately, you know, I only had to use him for the one fight. The rest of the fights were ghost fights, so it is what it is. Uh, but that's going to bring me up to 52 kills and two deaths on the season. Still 96%. 63.56 true difficulty rating. Solar rate bonus is at 0.4. Uh, positive, that's good. Power rating, 60.74. Still haven't died since War 4 when I tested out Nova, but the real, that tested out Mole Man versus Nova, but the real death was against that Havoc in War Number 3. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty good man. Only one real death on the season, so that's not too bad. And um, there's three fights left, three wars left for you guys to watch, and one war left for me to actually do at the time of recording this video. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this Alliance War video. You know, some of these are lengthy, and some of these are quick and short, man. Um, you guys know I tend to use champions. You go pretty fast. You know, Ghost is fast. Mole Man's fast. Doctor Doom is, like, fast enough, right? Um, but yeah. So some of these aren't too long, and that's totally fine, man. Um, I don't always like watching long videos. I'm assuming you guys don't like sitting here for 20 minutes watching war videos either. If they're that long, then that's how long they are. But if they're short, sometimes they're short, man. But anyway, all that being said, that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed it, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about seeing Rank 3 Dr. Doom throw casual 17k heavy crits in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the rest of Season 25 coming to you very, very soon. I'll be seeing you around.